Well, here it is. The end of the line. If the Federal Reserve cuts the interest rate down to 1%, that's it. We've done all we could. I'm so sorry, Miss Liberty. Your country's economy is dead. Okay, so it's not that bad. Most of the stuff we've already done just needs some time to kick in. The Fed started buying commercial paper yesterday, the banks are still getting their loans, and the rest of that bailout money is floating around somewhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, the regular Joes are moving from Main Street to Foreclosure Drive. So the question is, will we survive long enough to see the end of this crisis? I know, I know, I'm being all doom and gloomy, but people are hurting here. September foreclosures were up 21% from last year. Corporate America is hemorrhaging employees, and consumer confidence is at an all-time low. So, no jobs equals no money to pay the mortgage. And a big chunk of those people couldn't pay off their loans when they had jobs. I'd say we're drowning in Creek. Yes, I get it. People are getting laid off because companies are having a hard time. If the government can help the top, maybe the top might be able to help the middle, and so on. But that strategy has always been tricky. Coca-Cola and Merck are dependent on people to buy their stuff. If Americans don't have the money to buy their Propecia, Merck isn't going to have enough to pay its workers. It's one tough cycle. Bicycle. Bicycle. But help could be on the way. There's been some buzz lately about the government tackling the mortgage crisis. Now that they're done rescuing the top, maybe they figure it's time to give Joe the Plumber some help. You betcha. The FDIC has a program for IndyMac that's working pretty well. Oh, and that little unemployment problem? Hey, maybe Kashkari could hire a few extra hands to help spread that bailout wealth around. Hey, what? It's an idea. So the U.S. was first to arrive at the crisis party. Maybe we'll be the first to leave. But while Americans are waiting for that fashionable exit, things are still uncertain. Call me impatient. Call me stubborn. But we all know how quickly foreclosure drive could turn into homeless shelter road.